that jump rope. Put the jump rope behind your feet. Swing the rope over your head, then jump when it gets to your feet. Keep swinging the rope and jumping. Assignment complete. Now I'm a really good jump roper. Learn all kinds of things from Special Agent Oso. Weekday afternoons at 2-1 Central on Disney Junior. Join me at the keyboard. Join me in my song. You will never be bored if you play along. If it's hard getting started, we'll go real slow. You should try and play high and I'll play it low. What a thrill, I know we'll put on quite a show. Come on and play along. Now, get ready for Stanley on Disney Junior. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, yeah. Stanley. Uh, do you know a guy who talked to a kangaroo? Hi there. <laughs> who's always ready to learn about something new? Wow. Whose favorite book has all the animals you could wish? Yeah. Who's proud to say his best friend is a fish? That's right. It's my man Stanley. Oh, yeah. You swimming with dolphins. It's Sandy. Oh, yeah. Laughs with a lion, too. It's Sandy. Cool. No problem, Stan can't solve. It's all the age involves. Having a friend like you. Having a friend like you. It's Sandy. It's Sandy. With a friend like you. It's Sandy. It's Sandy. It's Sandy. Woo! The Pond Couple. Dennis? Ta-da! Oscar, he's our class pet. Miss Diaz said I could take him home this weekend. That's quite an honor, Stanley. Yeah, I learned a lot about him, so I know how to take care of him. But you know why I really wanted to bring Oscar home? To meet you. Really? Is he a goldfish? Nope, he's a musk turtle. See? Hmm. I don't see a turtle. Do you? Hey, Oscar, you in there? Oh, I see him now. <laughs> he was inside his shell. Welcome, Oscar. I'm Dennis. I must say, it's nice to have a new neighbor. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? Oh, that's just Oscar. He can be a little grumpy sometimes. But don't worry, you guys are gonna be best friends. Oh, Stanley, can you help me a minute? Sure, Dad. No problem. I gotta go. Be right back. So, it's just you and me, eh? A couple of fishbowl buddies, two peas in a pod, two birds of a feather, two thick-shelled veterans of the deep. <laughs> oh, I, I find aquatic life fascinating, don't you? Well, maybe you haven't been properly introduced to the subject yet. Not to worry, Oscar. Allow me to read from the unabridged Encyclopedia Aquatica. I'll begin. This aquatic worm called Riftia pachytia, not to be confused with the aquatic worm on page 467, Oscar, is an unusual animal because it has no mouth, digestive tract, or apparent way to eat. Instead, the Riftia allows bacteria to live... Oh, my, what is that awful smell? Hey, guys, how's it... Ew! Ow! What happened, dudes? Yeah, Dennis, it smells like my litter box in here. Me? I didn't do it. Then who did? Ew. You sure he's a turtle, dude? He smells more like a skunk. Yeah, mustard turtles let out a bad smell sometimes, but only when they're upset. Something bothering you, Oscar? What? Me? What did I do? That's right, I forgot. Oscar likes to sleep during the day and stay up at night. You mean musk turtles are nocturnal? I see. I must have been keeping him up. Sorry, Dennis. 
I should have told you. That's quite all right, Stanley. It's my fault, really. I can be a bit talkative. But Oscar could have let me know I was keeping him up. Oh, I think he did. Now, <laughs> <laughs> what is that ruckus? Oscar, sorry to trouble you. I know that musk turtles are night owls, but it's bedtime for goldfish. Do you mind not doing whatever it is that you're doing? I'm surprised the whole house isn't awake by now. All right, Oscar, I'm awake. Now, may I ask what you're doing? Oh. You were looking for food. I suppose the food settles in the pebbles when it falls to the bottom of the bowl. Quite ingenious. Still, all that digging doesn't help keep your water clean, does it? I wonder if there's a better way. What do you think, Oscar? <laughs> well, if you must dig, at least pick up after yourself. You can even borrow my wet dry vacuum cleaner. See how easy it is? One, two, three. Oh, I'm bothering you, am I? Well, let me tell you something. What's going on? Ew. Oscar, you okay? I'm so sorry, Stanley. Please, go back to bed. Everything's fine. But you're fighting again. I thought you two would get along great. Don't worry, Stanley. We'll give it another try. Right, Oscar? That's great. Thanks, guys. Remember, Stanley, tomorrow is another day. Stop tapping my bowl, Oscar. Oh, you're impossible. You okay, Stanley? The weekend's half over and they still don't like each other. It's all my fault. Your fault? Miss Diaz put me in charge of taking care of Oscar, but I messed up everything. Oscar isn't happy, Dennis isn't happy, no, I'm not happy either. I'm happy! I'll let you in on a little secret, Stanley. At first, Harry and I didn't get along either. You didn't? You didn't? Nope. He's a dog and I'm a cat. You're a cat? I thought you were a chihuahua. Anyway, we live in the same house, and we share lots and lots of things. Like this dish towel. Uh, right. So, we learn to get along. And now, I kind of like the big kahuna. Thanks, Elsie. You gave me a great idea. Stanley, what are you doing? If you two live together, you'll learn to get along. Not like that, we won't. <laughs> Sorry, Oscar. Sorry, Dennis. You're right. I shouldn't make you live together, but I thought it would help. <sighs> Don't feel bad, Stanley. It's not your fault. Oscar and I just aren't meant to live together. We're too different. You sure about that, dude? Yes. I'm friendly. He's grumpy. I sleep at night. He sleeps during the day. I'm tidy. He's messy. In short, say no more. Bottom line, I'm a goldfish. He's a turtle. We are different. Hmm. I'm not so sure about that, Dennis. Let's look it up. Oh, please, don't sing that! It's the great big book of everything with everything inside. See the world around us. This book's the perfect guide. Not you, too. When we go inside, we'll see how you live in harmony. Let's look up turtles. That starts with T. A, B, C, D, E. G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. It says here that musk turtles naturally live in ponds. <laughs> I think he wants to go swimming, dude. Great, let's go. Come on, Dennis. Yahoo! He sure likes it here. That's because ponds are filled with fresh water, Stanley. That means the water has no salt. And Oscar is a freshwater turtle. Aren't you a freshwater fish, Dennis? 
Why, yes, goldfish do prefer fresh water to salty water. See, Dennis? You and Oscar are alike. I wouldn't go that far, but I will admit the water here is great. He sure loves his veggies. Yes, but musk turtles are omnivores, Stanley. We learned about that in class. That means they eat plants and meat. You got it. Wait a minute. So the goldfish. I'm picking up a pattern here. For me. Why, thank you, Oscar. Hmm. Well, I must say, this is a lovely pond. Hmm. I can quite see why musk turtles like living here. Here. But... But goldfish live here too? It looks like goldfish and musk turtles like living in the same kind of pond. You mean we share the same habitat? Fresh, cool water with plenty of plant life. I suppose we do, Stanley. See, Dennis? You and Oscar are a lot alike. You both come from the same place. Well, I didn't exactly come from here. I grew up in a pet store. Wait a second. You're not the same Oscar who lived in the tank above Gladys Guppy, are you? How are you, old chum? Stanley, this is my old friend Oscar. Can you believe it? We grew up in the same pet store when we were babies. Wow! But... Dinky? Yes, well, that was my nickname back then, Stanley. <laughs> I was much smaller. Let's not talk about it. Do you have any twos? No. Oh. Go fish. No problem, old chum. That must have been some pond. Are you sure you came back with the right turtle and goldfish? Yep. They thought they didn't have anything in common. But it turns out they have lots. Absolutely. Guess what, Dennis? Miss Diaz said I did a great job of taking care of Oscar this weekend. You certainly did, Stanley. And I learned a lot. Yes, we learned that musk turtles live in ponds, just like goldfish. And that they let out a stinky smell when they're upset. I certainly learned that. But most importantly, I learned that no matter how different someone is, if you can find something you share in common, you're sure to get along. But the one bad thing about becoming Oscar's friend again is now I miss him, even his special stink. Cheer up, Dennis. Oscar needs a place to stay this summer. He can live right here with us. Good night, Musk Turtle Stanley. Good night, Dinky. Oh. Who's afraid of Walter Wolf? Okay, good morning, class. Today, we'll work on your macaroni art projects. But first, I want you to meet our newest student. This is Walter. He just moved here all the way from snowy Alaska. Cool wolf shirt, Walter. Where'd you get it? Maybe he doesn't know. Why don't you tell the class something about yourself, Walter? I like wolves. That's it. Oh. That's good enough for me. Okay, class, let's make some art. Let's make a macaroni rocket ship today. We made that yesterday. How about a ballerina? How about a macaroni barn? Stanley can draw some cows. And a rooster. Cock-a-doodle. Do. One sec. Be right back. Hey, Walter, you working all by yourself? You can work with us. We're making a barn. Lester, barns aren't covered with cheese. They are when they're made of macaroni. It'll be fun, Walter. Follow me. Guess what? Walter's gonna help us make the barn. Cool! Is he gonna help us from over there? Huh? I don't get it. Why did Walter want to work alone? Does he not like us or something? I don't think he likes anybody. Look! I don't know, Mimi. He likes wolves. 
Yeah, but wolves are mean. What if Walter likes wolves because he's mean and scary too? Or what if he is a wolf? You mean like a werewolf? A uh, werewolf? Yeah. I've heard they're half human and half wolf. Oh! Come on, guys, that's ridiculous. He's not a wolf. He's just not very friendly. Besides, it's recess. Let's play. Hey, Marcy, throw me a long one. I bet you I could catch it. Okay. I got it! I got it! Oh, whoa, why? Oh, you better be careful. <sighs> oh, Lester. Lester, you okay? Say something. Wolf! Did somebody cry wolf? Yeah, Walter is a big, bad, scary wolf. A big, bad, scary... Lester, are you sure? He sure acts like one. He doesn't like people, Dennis. He walks around by himself all the time. It's kind of spooky. I see. And he threatened Lester. Threatened Lester? What happened? But like this. Hey, Marcy, throw me a long one. I bet you I could catch it. Okay. I got it. I got it. I know. You better be careful. Oh. And that's the way I remember it. That's quite a story. But maybe you're too scared to remember it right. Is that how you remember it? But Dennis, he did say I better be careful. Oh, what if he eats me tomorrow? Call the president! He's not going to eat you, Lester. But wolves gobble up children. Gobble up children? Where did you get that idea? Come on, Dennis. Everybody knows wolves are mean and scary. He's a werewolf. Walter's not a wolf. Those are just stories. And stories aren't always true. Hmm. I hadn't thought of that. Hey, I know a book that always gives us the true story. The great big book of... Harry and Elsie? It's the great big book of everything with everything inside. See the world around us. This book's the perfect guide. Must be a full moon. There's a new kid in school who thinks that wolves are really cool. Wolf starts with the letter W. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. Look. Hey, he's not as big as I thought. That's a female gray wolf, Lester. They're a bit smaller than male gray wolves, but the males probably aren't as big as you think either. Well, I think big. How big is she, Dennis? About four and a half feet long from head to tail. That's about the size of Lionel lying down. Look, she's walking all alone, just like Walter. Not for long. Come on. Yeah. This is Alaska, where many gray wolves live. Wolves are from Alaska? Walter's from Alaska. Coincidence? I think not. Not all wolves are from Alaska, Lester. At one point, wolves lived all around the world, but now they mostly live in North America. What happened to them? People hunted them, and now there aren't many left. People did that? And I thought wolves were scary. Hey, I found our wolf. Good thing she's kind of far away. I wouldn't want to get too close. Yeah. Hey, she's sniffing for something. Wolves smell about a hundred times better than human beings. Do I smell that bad? I just took a bath. Uh, no, Lester. Sorry. I meant that wolves can smell something faster and more easily than people can. Oh, no, she's howling. 
Is she angry? She doesn't look angry. She looks kind of happy. Maybe she found what she was looking for. Walter? No! More wolves! Whoa! I think they're talking to each other. Right! They howl to communicate. So you think our wolf howled to let the other wolf know where she was? I do indeed. That's not scary! That's cool! Arr! Hey! She's not just a wolf. She's a maw. Right. This is a family of wolves. Also called a pack. A family? Wolves don't have families. They're too mean. Do you think they look mean? No. They don't look mean at all. Yup. They're friendly. Family, wait! Come back! Come back! Why'd they run away? They look scared. And we're just friendly kids. Yeah, but they don't know that yet. They don't know us at all. Good point, Mimi. Wolves are quite shy around animals and people they don't know. Just like we were scared of them because we didn't know anything about wolves. But now we do. And it's too late. We scared them all. So, what's the deal on big, bad, scary wolves? They're not big, bad, or scary. We were wrong. Cheer up, Stanley. We learned something new today. Yeah, but I still feel bad. We made up our minds before getting to know them. Just like we did with Walter. You're right. What do we really know about him? He likes wolves, but now we do too. He's quiet. But maybe that's because he's shy. Shy like a wolf? That's it. We were scared of Walter because he's new and different. But to Walter, so are we. And there's four of us. Come to think of it, I bumped into him. He's right. I should be more careful. I could have hurt somebody. Sometimes you just need to look at things from a different point of view. Like Walter's, he's new in town, and everything is probably a little scary to him. I think we made a mistake. A big one. But maybe it's not too late to fix it. Hey! Wait a minute! There's Walter! Hey, Walter. We were just talking about gray wolves. They're from Alaska, just like you. Did you know that they're really kind of shy? Yeah, shy. But that doesn't mean they want to be alone all the time. No, it doesn't. That's why they live with their family in packs. They just get nervous around animals they don't know. Yeah, nervous. Hey, not many people know that about wolves. We didn't either. We were scared of wolves. But then we got to know about them. Really? Yep. Just like we want to get to know you. You do? Oh, cool. I don't have any friends here yet. I was... I was kind of scared of you guys when I first got here. Really? We were a little scared of you. What? I'm the new kid at school. You guys are all friends. I'm the one that nobody knows. But we know you now, and now you know us. So we can all be friends. Hey, guys. Stay tuned for Guess How Much I Love You, coming up on Disney Junior.
we're gonna do something really fun. Sounds like a plan. Come on. Begins. Come on, everybody, let's go! I'm going where the world shines brightly, where every dream is mine to hold. I'm going where all day and nightly, the story's just beginning to be told. Deep in the Hundred Acre Wood, Winnie the Pooh and his friends have had many exciting adventures. In fact, here is one of them right now. On this brisk winter day, Pooh was following some unfamiliar tracks in the freshly fallen snow when his friend, Piglet, came running up. What are you doing, Pooh? Shh. Tracking something. Tracking what? Well, that's what I ask myself, Piglet. What? <laughs> What do you think you'll answer yourself? Oh, I shall have to wait until I catch up with it. Pooh, for a bear of very little brain, you sure are a smart one. Thank you, Piglet. Ah-ha-ha. Uh -huh. ah. <laughs> what? A very mysterious thing, Piglet. A whole new set of tracks. See? And so it seems to be, where there was just one set of tracks before, now it appeared there was another joining here and mixing there, but exactly what the tracks were from was still a mystery. Piglet, whatever it was that made these tracks has now been joined by a whatever it is. Uh, yeah, yes, and all of them are, are proceeding in company. Piglet, I wasn't exactly expecting company. Uh, neither was I, Pooh. And yet the pair continued on, a bit more anxious now, and hoping the tracks they were following weren't leading them to an unfriendly sort. Hello? <gasps> look, look, Piglet. There's something in that tree over there. Is it one of the f Hello? fiercer animals? Yes. It's a jaguar. What do Jaguars do, Pooh? Well, Jaguars always call hello. And when you look up, they drop on you. We're playing Jaguar and Bouncing. That explains the tracks. We're Bouncing back home now. It's snack time. Whoopee! Come on, you blokes. Come on, Piglet. Let's follow these tracks. And so they did, following the tracks of a friendly sort indeed. In fact, the very best friends anyone could ever hope for. Now available on Disney DVD. I'm back. Peter Pan! Did you miss me? Crackers, yeah! Peter Pan returns to Neverland. You lost your shadow, Peter. <laughs> Got him! And needs Jake's help to get his shadow back. Got it! Oh, no, you don't! Disney's Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Peter Pan returns. Now available on Disney DVD with digital copy. The Magical World of Disney Junior presents... Everyone run for cover! Chicken Little. The sky is falling! The sky is falling! When Chicken Little tries to warn everybody... The sky is falling! Are you crazy? Nobody listens. Gotta believe me. But when it turns out he's right... A 
piece of the sky? Not again! 